there's no other member right now. Madam, Secre uh, Madam Secretary, if I could ask you to clarify the comments that you made last week that the U.S. has met with the Haqqani Network, but also urged the uh, government of Pakistan to get tough on that very same Haqqani Network, which is, has uh, directly killed scores of uh, U.S. troops. And one of your senior officials said in an authorized news conference last week, we were asked by ISI to give this a try. So which is it, Madam Secretary, crack down or negotiate with the Haqqani Network or a little bit of both? It's both. Um, it if, you both. Could, if you could elaborate. Yes, it, it, it's both, uh, Madam Chair. As I, as I said, we want to fight, talk, and build all at the same time. Part of the reason for that is to uh, test whether these organizations have any uh, willingness to negotiate in good faith. Um, there is a, there's evidence going both ways, to, to uh, be clear. Uh, sometimes we hear that they will, that there are uh, elements within each that wish to pursue that, and then other times that it's off the table. Um, so I think that with respect to the, uh, the Haqqani network, it illustrates this point. Um, there was a major military operation uh, that was uh, held in Afghanistan just in the past uh, week that rounded up and eliminated um, more than 100 Haqqani network operatives. And we are taking action to target the Haqqani leadership on both sides of the border. Uh, we're increasing our international efforts to squeeze them operationally and financially. Uh, we are already working with the Pakistanis to target those who are behind a lot of the attacks against Afghans and Americans. And I made it very clear to uh, the Pakistanis that uh, the attack on our embassy uh, was an outrage. And the attack on our forward operating base that injured 77 of our uh, soldiers uh, was a similar outrage. And it was, uh, in both instances, uh, terrible, but the fact is we avoided having dozens and dozens of wounded or killed. Um, Thank you. And if I could ask a, a question related to uh, the statement that uh, President Karzai made just uh, less than 48 hours after you and he held a press conference, uh, President Karzai said, God forbid if there ever is a war between Pakistan and America, then we will side with Pakistan. I wanted to ask you, is this something that he told you in your meetings? How do you interpret his comments? And a broader question, uh, are Afghanistan and Pakistan reliable allies? Well, first of all, um, President Karzai and I had a very productive meeting when I was in Kabul last week. We are making progress on a lot of issues, and uh, we are coordinating closely on uh, both fighting the insurgents and trying to test out this Afghan-led reconciliation. So w frankly, when I heard uh, about the comment, uh, we immediately asked uh, uh, Ambassador Crocker to go in and figure out what it meant, uh, you know, what the point of it was. And, um, the, and, and Ambassador Crocker, who you know is one of our most distinguished, experienced diplomats, uh, reported back that uh, he really believed that what Karzai was talking about was the long history of cooperation between Afghanistan and Pakistan, in particular the refuge that Pakistan provided to millions of Afghans who were crossing the border uh, seeking safety during the Soviet invasion, during the warlordism, during the Taliban period, and, and that it is not at all about a war that anybody was predicting, and uh, that it was, uh, you know, take both taken out of context and misunderstood. So. You know, I think Ambassador Crocker is a pretty good uh, guide to that. He sure is. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. Mr. Falamavega.